Hi, my name is Matthew Tipton, and I've come to explain to you how a base is added onto a sugar. And that actual reaction is called a beta N glycosidic linkage. So, yeah, we're wondering how does a base get added onto a sugar when we're forming a nucleoside? Now, I'll show you. Here we go. So, adjust your eyes to the screen with me. Here we go. Now, we have an adenine base here and we have a sugar which is a beta deoxyribose which will be which will be found in DNA now to start I have my adenine base here and it has a, and it has a lone pair of electrons on the ninth nitrogen here like I said like we said earlier in the presentation there are the each individual component of the ring is numbered one two three four five six and, it, and on this is the ninth nitrogen here this ninth nitrogen with its lone pair of electrons goes to attack the first carbon here on the sugar. This is called the anomeric carbon. Now, like I said, the lone pair of electrons here on the ninth nitrogen of the base goes to attack the anomeric carbon here, carbon number one. All right, in that process, an OH here and an H here are going to come off. I have them circled the H here and the OH here they're gonna come off in what's called a dehydration synthesis basically we're taking water from the from the cohesion of these two molecules and we're calling it a dehydration synthesis we're gonna form water so basically these two molecules come together right at the ninth nitrogen and the first carbon as here as seen here now I have formed a nucleoside in adenosine and water through a dehydration reaction. That's how it's done. That is putting a sugar on a base or putting a base on a sugar. And once again this production has been brought to you by Indiana and Notre Dame. Go Irish. Um, Dr. Davis, I want an A. Hey class, much love. Peace. I'm Matthew Tipton. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Thank you.